Hello, I'm back. I'm wondering what the voters in America are paying at. Why? Well, the US election campaign is finally over, the polls are closed, and Donald J. Trump has been re-elected president. I thought it would be a good idea for me to provide an outside perspective. Now, many of you will claim that, as I'm from England, this is none of my business. Newsflash, what happens in America affects the entire world, which makes it everyone's business. Now, the election will undoubtedly be discussed on this Friday's edition of Have I Got This View, just hosted by comedian Roy Wood Jr., who hosts the US version. Now, one aspect of the campaign, which many people have focused on, is the fact that Donald Trump was allowed to run despite being held liable for sexual assault and receiving 34 felony convictions. Now, here in the UK, there's a law. Anyone convicted of a criminal offence, punishable by at least a year in prison, is automatically barred from becoming a member of Parliament, which is the UK equivalent of the House of Representatives. Now, I think this ban should be expanded on all, to all elected positions and applied worldwide. Another issue is the fact that, in many areas, there have been multiple attempts to discourage voting by certain people. First, there were repeated purges of voter records. This has resulted in the wrongful removal from the electoral rolls of people who are eligible to vote. To tackle this, I think there should be a US version of the UK Voter Authority Scheme. This will ensure everyone eligible to vote will receive a certificate, and possibly a card, bearing the voter's photograph, name, address, and unique voter reference, which will confirm they are eligible to vote. The voter reference would also be useful for mail-in ballots. Furthermore, only properly qualified election officials should be allowed to revoke voting rights. Eligible voters, and then only with genuine proof, in three specific circumstances. One, temporary cancellation of voting rights for convicted felons who are awaiting sentencing, serving a sentence, or barred from political activity as part of their sentence, or by order of the court. Two, suspension of voting rights for people deemed unable to make rational decisions for themselves, such as psychiatric patients who refuse to accept or participate in treatment. Three, termination of voting rights for those who have passed away, such as a taxidermy grandma. In addition, there have been repeated attempts to impede, restrict or block bail in voting. For example, counters in one area refuse to count votes lacking an internal security envelope. This can be countered by using slightly thicker outer envelopes and having a completely blank page on the back of the ballot form, so that when the form is folded inwards and placed in the envelope, the info on the form will be hidden even when held up to a light, thus removing the need for this for a separate security envelope. In other areas, staff has chose not to accept votes that, due to systemic delays in the US Postal Service, arrived after polling day, even if they were postmarked well in advance. Therefore, it would be best for all areas to automatically accept mail in ballots postmarked before polling day, including those that arrive in the four days after polling. Finally, we have the Electoral College, which many argue is no longer fit for purpose. There are a number of videos about the issue with the Electoral College and possible solutions and alternatives. For example, Legal Legal has lots of videos about this. EGP Gray has one on the sneaky plan to subvert the Electoral College for the next election about the National Popular Vote Interstate Compact. And the Ask AI channel has a recent video where Chat GP was asked to devise a fairer electoral system. Please check them out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to like and share. Also, let me know what you think in the comment section. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and click the bell icon to be notified about new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon.